Hello again, everyone. I'm O'Neill Williams, host of O'Neill Outside Television and Radio. And I have with me today Michael McMichael. He's the president, founder, and designer of the Power Belt Bullet. I have him here today because he's hunted all over the world, and he's going to tell us why the Power Belt Bullet is so effective on game and so popular all over the world. If you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. Let's face it, before the Power Belt came along, I used a saboted bullet really hard to load. Well, like we talked about, the, the sabot has that cup that comes all the way around it, and that's the only thing that engages the rifling. So it basically takes the same energy to push it down the barrel as it is to push, come back out the barrel. So our bullet has the gas check attached to the base. The bullet itself can be slightly under bore diameter, so it loads really easy. Mm -hmm. And then on the way out, the gas is ignited, the bullet obturates or fattens up and engages the rifling, so it comes out engaged. And again, that reinforces that consistency and that accuracy, doesn't it? That's right. Yeah. While the first time I loaded a Sabbath was difficult, after the first shot, it was next to impossible. What's going on? Well, like we talked about, the plastic on a Sabbath surrounds the bullet. That's what's engaging the rifling. Well, when it comes out at velocity, it's stripping that plastic off and leaving it in the rifle. So it's a dirty barrel. But with a power belt, I can shoot like six, seven, eight times without ever cleaning. That's right. How am I able to accomplish that with a power belt? Well, we don't have any plastic fouling in the barrel, so it loads a whole lot easier. It just doesn't leave that in the barrel where it needs to be cleaned all the time. So the bullet is engaging the rifling and not plastic, and that's why the other shots are so important. That's right, and you're not going to strip the copper off like you do plastic in the barrel. Michael, what makes the power belt bullet so different and superior to the sabotage bullet? Well, the bullet itself is completely designed from the ground up for a muzzle loader. That's the first thing. Now, the, the sabotage bullet has a cup that surrounds the bullet itself so the bullet doesn't engage the rifling. Then it has a gas seal at the base of the sabot. Mm -hmm. The power belt bullet is designed, the bullet itself, to engage the rifling. Then we have the gas check, which is attached to the base of the bullet to give it a perfect gas seal. Well, what does the perfect gas seal do for us? Well, it does a lot of things. The most important thing is, is velocity. All of the, the powder when it's ignited, the gases, the energy is transferred to the bullet itself. So you're getting higher velocities and, and more consistent velocities. All right, we've achieved consistency. Correct. Okay. What does that translate to to the performance? Okay, it means everything in performance because you're, you're constantly getting the same burn, the same push on the bullet basically, so you get the same velocities, so you have the same point of impact downrange. There's no gases getting past the bullet at one time and then all getting checked the next. They're all getting stopped behind the bullet. So every shot's the same? Identical. The accuracy. That's where it comes in. For anyone who takes a look at the power belt line, they'll notice there's an arrow tip, a hollow point, and a flat tip. What are the differences? The hollow point, by contrast, expands immediately on contact. The arrow tip, in addition to its aerodynamic benefits, allows a deeper penetration before the bullet expands. And it's really cool looking. And the flat point provides the most controlled expansion of the three and the most weight retention. Okay, now I understand. The arrow tip for deeper penetration on light or medium weight game, like deer, elk, or a black bear. The hollow point, for maximum expansion on lighter skinned game, like deer and varmints even. And then finally, the flat point for heavier skinned game, like big black bear, grizzly bear, and moose. So, by matching the tip design and the bullet weight to the game and situation that you're hunting, you can have the perfect bullet. Before we started this conversation, I looked at the brochure. There are four different grades of power belt bullets simple that the basic design of the bullet is used throughout the line the gas check on the base of the bullet but each bullet itself out of those four is designed to do different things in different areas so out of those four you should be able to find the bullet that fits exactly the situation that you're hunting in the type of game you're hunting and the distances you're shooting now the aerolite is sort of the opposite of the platinum it's specifically designed to perform the best at lower velocities with a large hollow point that is filled with a super hard material for the arrow tip at impact velocities of 1,700 feet per second or less, the expansion of the aerolite is ideal. So naturally, if you shoot standard chargers rather than magnum chargers, the bullet will give you ideal on-game performance. Also, because the hollow point is very large, the bullet can be longer, which increases the stability in flight and thereby provides unsurpassed accuracy. The platinum bullet is our premium bullet, which is designed specifically for use with magnum charges. 
The base is reinforced to handle the extra pressure and even fits a bit tighter in order to contain the gas. The base is reinforced to handle the extra pressure and even fits a bit tighter. This solid construction, plus the shape of the bullet itself, allows it to strike at high velocities with controlled expansion. And finally, we have the pure lead series. These lead power belts are legal in states where copper-plated power belts are not, such as Idaho. Also, they are the most economical power belts to shoot. Many of our customers use these for plinking and small game hunting. Our copper series are the most popular of the power belt bullets. These are the bullets that took the power belt brand from a little operation in my garage to the modern factory in Nampa, Idaho, where all the power belts are made today, to the tune of about 7 million bullets a year. The thin copper plating reduces the bore friction and increases the velocity. The coppers really are our all-around performer. A few moments ago, you talked about the difference in a sabot and a power belt, and you mentioned knockdown power. Yeah, that's a big part of it. And our bullet's designed to do that at muzzleloader velocities. But the big thing is, in a nutshell, is that the sabotage bullet, because it has that plastic cup mm -hmm. around it, okay. it has to be under bore diameter. So if you're shooting a 50 caliber muzzleloader, you're shooting only a 45 caliber bullet. With the power belt bullets, they're actually only one one thousandth of an inch under bore diameter, so they'll load easy. So you have a 50 caliber, you're getting a 50 caliber bullet. So when you hit the animal, it hits it hard. It's a bigger bullet and more knockdown power. Exactly. Michael, I had a fellow approach me the other day at a consumer show and he said he's just started using the power belt bullets. He's a deer hunter. And on the first deer he shot, he didn't have an exit wound. What was my reply to that? Well, that's a good question and that's the one we get often. Mm -hmm. If a person wants an exit wound, if you're, work, you're, you're working in an area that you don't have a lot of clearings, you may not mm -hmm. have the perfect shot, use an arrow tip. You're going to have a lot more likelihood of an exit wound and more of a blood trail. Okay. If you're hunting in a more open area where the animals don't have the chance to get to cover, mm -hmm. uh, you get a good shot, that kind of thing. The hollow point for instant shock is the way to go. Okay. Thanks, Michael. And thanks to you for watching. The Power Belt Bullet is the number one muzzle-loading projectile in the world.